My thoughts? People need to stop overreacting. Like, this everyone has been overreacting. Everyone involved. Platonic is overreacting. Team 17 is overreacting. The customers are overreacting. Uh, the trolls are overreacting. The only one not overreacting is Jontron himself. <laughs> everyone but Jontron is overreacting like fuck. Jesus Christ. But then again, overreacting is what the internet does. Because the thing is, the thing about overreacting is that people that react normally, you don't notice they are there. But the people that are n overreacting, oh, you notice those people plenty. If John Tron can accept the decision, why can't his fans move on? Because in any fandom, for anything, it doesn't matter what it is, if it's anime, if it's TV shows, if it's series, if it's uh, video games, if it's manga, if it's comics, if it's a person, whatever. If you have any sort of fandom for anything, there will be fucking retarded idiots. And those are the guys that have the loud voice. It's as simple as that. So if anything happens ever, those guys will be the ones to say stupid shit. It's like that for anything that exists. Sure, you can comment on anything that you want to. I'm a bastion of free speech after all. John don't have controversial things in the past with gamer bait. Yeah, but his... But, I mean, having a controversial viewpoint on Gamergate is something that most people have. Just not because most people are idiots, but because if you say anything about Gamergate, it's going to be controversial, whatever it is. So Jontron was just one of many people saying some super shit. So at that point, I mean, it's fairly understandable still. And he, that was not like an integral part of who Jontron is, that he said some stupid shit about Gamergate. But now it's suddenly like, oh, Jontron is actually a, a Nazi. Jontron is actually a Nazi. And everyone's like, jeez, fucking Christ, he's a Nazi. And this is way more, this is way more incriminating than just saying something stupid about Gamergate once or twice. This was anyone else's situation, it wouldn't have been so bad. I don't know, there are plenty of people that can that could have also caused something stupid like that happen. I, I always hear this. I mean, that's the f this is the, this is actually the, the, the greatest meme of all. You purple dragon, you're gonna you have the privilege of being in a room with someone who knows Destiny very well and who also knows Jontron very well. And since they had this debate, and I know a lot of what Destiny tweets about and what he said in the debate and how everything that was surrounding that, I have a lot of knowledge surrounding that. And the thing is, Destiny, first off, said to Jontron like a few days before the debate that famous people or people that are some way popular should not express political opinions. You just don't do that. Same with um, uh, religious beliefs. And so John Troll and I think a lot of other people also went really hard on Destiny. Like, how the fuck, like, how can you say that? You're just trying to like get your own agenda through and like trying to silence us. Where's freedom of speech or whatever? If you want to say political stuff, we will say political stuff. And it sailed completely over their head what Destiny actually meant. What Destiny actually meant is why you don't express political beliefs as someone who's popular is exactly because of what happened to Jontron. That's exactly the reason why. Because if Jontron wasn't a popular person, it wouldn't have fucking mattered. But if you're a popular person and you have any sort of opinion on anything, you're gonna get crucified for it. You're gonna get absolutely destroyed for it. And that's what happened. So people saying, oh, it's not fair that it's happened to Jontron because he's famous. And if he wasn't famous, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah, but that's the fucking point. It's because he's famous that it happened. That's that's the way it's supposed to be. Hmm. Try saying that three times fast. Of Don't course that's going to happen. I think the, uh, the initial problem with the whole Jontron situation was that... Um... Oh, wait a second. That Platonic just in general decided to pull him, which is stupid. I think that's actually probably the most stupid thing of the entire um, of the entire debacle. Just the fact that Platonic at all decided to remove Jontron. That was why the fuck would you do that? Why would you do that as a game developer? Pull someone because of political beliefs? Why would you do that? I'm gonna tell you why it happened because of NeoGAF. Because NeoGAF is basically the SJW forefront of the internet. 
NeoGAF, or for gaming at least, like every single gamer SJW is stationed at NeoGAF. And I assume, we don't know for sure, I assume NeoGAF went really fucking hard on Platonic and wrote them like thousands upon thousands of angry letters saying that they're uncomfortable with playing a game that has JonTron and Nazi having a voice actor role in it. So they campaigned really fucking hard against Platonic to pull JonTron. And I assume that is why JonTron ended up getting pulled, because he got Neogaffed the fuck out of there. And I think the, the big problem is, at that point, just the fact that um, Platonic sort of bowed, Platonic bowed to the Neogaf, and that's why this whole debacle has happened. John Tron, uh, Platonic should not have bowed to Neogaf, that's the big problem. So they got hardcore, like, shoved into that corner by Neogaf, and they bowed to it. They should not have bowed to it. Now, now they realize, oh shit, why the fuck did we bow to Neogaf? We're fucking idiots. But it's too late, you can't take it back, Platonic. And meanwhile, jo uh, meanwhile, Destiny is also getting a shit ton of flack from... I mean, this entire thing is just... The, in the, the, the entire stupidity of the internet brought on a table and shown for everyone. So not only has JonTron been getting absolutely bashed into the fucking ground by SJWs and pu having pushed Platonic into this corner, which now has caught, caught out fans of JonTron that are now campaigning against Plato Platonic, which has riled up uh, Team 17, some com community managers of Team 17, which are also slinging shit at all consumers now. So not only have we brought in almost everyone involved, on the other side of the entire spectrum, we have the Destiny side of the entire argument, and we have a shit ton of people now shit-talking Destiny, saying he got destroyed in the debate by JonTron. JonTron, who argued that even the wealthiest blacks commit more crimes than the poorest white people. Look it up. And then he linked an MS Paint, an MS Paint statistic where the creator himself said, yeah, this is all made up. And he, oh my, and he did stuff like that all the time, where it's like, what's wrong? Uh, where Destiny went, well, what's wrong with white people becoming the minority? And Chantra was like, haha, of course it's bad if white people become the minority. And it went on and on and on. And then Destiny, after that, still got flagged, like, haha, Chantra destroyed you, Destiny, and showed you what a kind of an SJ lipped cock you are. And it just kept going and going. And now everyone, everyone, Literally everyone that has an opinion on anything in this entire debacle is having a pitchfork up in arms. And you know what you just do? You know what you just do with the entire thing? You know what you just do? You just take a ride on the relaxy taxi, or you take a chill pill, or you just throw yourself into the freezer, or whatever you do, and you just calm the fuck down, okay? You just calm the fuck down. Everyone involved, you just calm the fuck down. You're like, what's done is done. What's happened has happened. John Tron's voice being gone, that's that's done, that's done. You can't get a refund. If you want to get a refund, it's not gonna happen. If you want one, you can go to the backer side and like try and get one, but they have no obligation to do that. Um, if you have any sort of political opinion, just, just, just relax, just relax. You shouting at someone else is not gonna change anything, it's not gonna do anything other than, well, Probably getting your blood sugar up so fucking high that you're just gonna explode at some point. I think that's probably the worst thing that could happen, and it might happen to some people, I don't know. It's an optional update even? I don't think it's optional. I I think it's an actual update. I mean, obviously you can go and, go and steam and turn off the updates, but yeah. But yeah, that's, that's those are my two cents on it. Just, just calm the fuck down, guys. Calm the fuck down. Of course, there are plenty of people out there who are gonna troll- who are gonna try to troll the shit out of everything, and they're not gonna give a shit. Like, they're gonna keep raging anyway, they're gonna keep flaming. Just ignore those guys, come on, just ignore those. It's, it's been like this since the... This is the beginning of the internet, just ignore those guys. I know it's fucking hard, especially when they're talking ex just directly to you, but... After so many years of the internet having happened, we, you should've... You should've been able oh, to do that. Mike just sent me a message through the security uplink. I don't know. He found your luggage in the front hall. Especially Platonic. Platonic, why did you bow to Neogaf? Ah! Uh-oh.
This is, this is just so, such a big... I'm pretty sure Platonic didn't want to do it. I'm pretty sure Platonic didn't want to do it. I can't imagine why they want to do it. The thing is, as a community manager, since you work with the community a lot, the problem is, for pretty much, same as I said before, pretty much any fan base in the game, uh, in the game, that ever exists ever, for anything that you can imagine, for any fan base. Since you have so many stupid idiots, if you have to work as a community manager with the community who cons which consists of stupid idiots like that, that say stupid name. retarded thing all the time, then of course you're gonna have, of course at some point you're gonna burn something in your brain and you're gonna turn into either an SJW oh or an uh, alt rider, I don't know. It's like the only way that this thing can resolve itself. I have fond memories of this room when I was about your age. It's never good to go to someone's personal account if you have uh, a professional problem with them. The best way to shut people up like that is what you have to do is you have to put in some sort of plugging or whatever that whenever you want to post a comment, you have a voice that reads the comment that you just wrote to you. And if you were to do that, you would be able to get rid of so many stupid comments on the internet because then we'd be like, Oh my god, is this actually fucking retarded? Let me not post that.